Hello everyone, I hope that uh, you have a great day today. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you okay, how you can uh, use okay, uh, the uh, Microsoft okay, PowerPoint okay, uh, recording feature, okay? okay PowerPoint okay, uh, screen recording feature okay, to record uh, your work. Okay, so you can show me uh, your homework okay, uh, and the exercises okay, you have uh, completed. So we will try uh, uh, the exercise one, okay, and exercise zero here, okay. So, okay, uh, let me minimize, get okay, this one first, and this will be the PowerPoint, okay, so you can just fire up the PowerPoint and go to the, uh, again, the insert, okay, insert, okay, and then you can click the uh, screen recording, and there you go, okay, you will ask you to pick uh, an area, okay, so let me, I click the uh, select an area, okay, and then let me select and then drag, okay, and drag okay, to the uh, area, okay, I want to do the recording, let go, then you can see that, okay, there are red dots okay, here showing this is the area, okay, how you want to uh, recall, okay, uh, uh, the screen, okay, then once you're done, then you can click uh, record, okay, all right, and then I'm going to okay, fire up the uh, virtual box. Okay, so you can see that I have my uh, Windows Server 2012 okay, uh, there, and then it has been promoted to a domain controller. And then let me right click the mouse button and then pick a uh, show. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this is my uh, virtual machine. Okay, and then okay, uh, again, okay, I'm going to show you uh, the domain, okay, so I click this okay, uh, server manager here and then select the uh, local server. Okay, there you go. Okay, so you can see that this is the name of my machine, okay, the, uh, Windows uh, S, okay, WS2012 temp, and this is the domain I pick, okay, min.com, and this is the IP address, okay, I pick, okay. And then again, for exercise, okay, you just need to show me that okay, the machine has been promoted to a domain controller, okay. And then okay, again, okay, uh, now I'm going to show you the uh, uh, the uh, uh, okay, uh, the uh, user, sorry, the user here, okay. Jangdo and the password and the account type, okay, administrator. I will take care of this okay, internal network okay, a part later, okay. So I can go to tools, okay. And then select uh, Active Directory, okay, uh, users, okay, and computer, okay. And then okay, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, control panel, okay, or dialog box showed up, okay. And then I can select uh, users, okay. I can select users. Then, okay, uh, if necessary, please okay, expand the uh, width, okay. So you, I can see the uh, users better. And this is the user, okay. Uh, I have uh, added it okay, to the uh, domain, okay, to this domain, and select the user, right click the mouse button, okay, and pick properties, and then go to the members of tab, and then there we go, okay, so it shows that uh, Zhang Do has been uh, set it up uh, as a domain user, as well as a member of the uh, administrator, okay, then I can click OK, and then now, okay, I can close this okay, uh, okay, uh, control panel, okay, and then close this uh, one as well. Then I'm going to press the window key, okay, and then uh, lock myself out, okay. So, well, actually, a moment ago, I'm locking as the uh, Jangdo already, but then anyway, let me do it again, okay. So, go to input, uh, insert, okay, uh, control, order, delete key, and this will be the uh, new user. And then you can see that Mink is the domain name. Okay, this is the user's login name. Okay, and then I'm going to type in the password. So su dash okay, 2014. And then click the I over here to show the password. Okay, and then click uh, login. Okay, and then there you go. Okay, so it's uh, been uh, logged in already. In addition to that, okay, I can click the File Explorer here, okay, and then click the okay, uh, C drive, okay, and then users, okay, and then also the, uh, you can see that okay, the users there, okay, John Doe is there, and then I can navigate into the users' okay, uh, directories, okay, 
uh, then I can click the my document. Okay, so actually, uh, before I show you the test, okay, I have created a file okay, with the content. This is Zhangdo okay, to show that Zhangdo uh, uh, okay, has the uh, rewrite permission okay, uh, over this okay, domain, okay, no problem. All right, okay, I think they will be all okay, you need to show to me okay, uh, for that exercise. Okay. And then to stop the recording, okay, go to the PowerPoint again. Okay. And then, okay, uh, let me see. Okay. Oh, yes, okay, go to the top okay, to show the uh, drop down menu. Then you can select pause. Okay. You can select pause. And then to uh, stop record for everything, okay, to make it as a video here, okay, then you can click the uh, close. Okay. Uh, you can see that close will be the window key, shift, and Q. Okay, so let me close it. So there you go. This is the video, and then you can do a quick test. Okay, if you want to. Okay, pause it, and then okay again. Okay, I'm going to uh, save it. Okay, I'm going to save it. Okay, to my uh, uh, video directory okay, on my local machine. Okay, and then let me call it uh, Humble 4 Exercise 01. Click Save. Okay, and then uh, well, previously I have done one already, so let me replace it. Okay, feel free to do a quick uh, test okay, if you want to. Okay, so this is my local drive. This is the video directory. Okay, this is the file. Okay, I just recorded it using uh, Windows. Uh, PowerPoint okay, uh, screen recording feature, double click it. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so this is what's going on. Okay. And then again, okay, uh, please get okay, uploaded to YouTube okay, and then uh, uh, send me the link and make sure that okay, uh, you set it to either uh, public uh, link okay, or uh, unlisted link. Okay. Uh, if you set it to private, and then even though you send me the the link, there is no way that okay, I can uh, watch it. Okay? okay, so let me stop the whole video here. All right. Okay, I hope that this will be useful to you.